pre-calculus M2 radians and arc length in a unit circle and what a unit circle is is whenever your radius is one so in a unit circle the length of an arc is equal to the measure of the angle subtended by the arc in radians so what that means is if you have a unit circle and your angle is theta and that's the Greek letter for theta and in math theta is always an unknown angle so whenever you hear me say theta we're talking about an angle so if you have a unit circle whose radius is one uh, the length of an arc which is talking about this right here how long is this it's equal to the measure of the angle subtended by the arc so it's equal to whatever this angle is so if this angle is theta then this length is theta <coughs> in a unit circle but if you have a circle whose radius is not one the formula for arc length and L means arc length where L is the arc length R is the radius and theta is the measure of the angle subtended by the arc in radians we're going to use this formula L equals R theta so if you take the radius and we multiply it by the angle we're going to get how big the arc length is so on this if the radius is one and we're and the arc length is pi so l equals that's an r theta that's our formula but because the radius is one and our arc length is pi and we're looking for theta we would divide by one and our theta is pi and that's why whenever your radius is one these are going to be equal so if this is one and our angle is pi over eight our arc length is pi over eight our radius is one and our arc length is pi over 11 what is the angle pi over 11 but now our radius is not one it's something different so we're going to have to use that formula so we have l equals r theta what are we given we're given the radius is 18 the angle is pi over 5 and what is the arc length well if we put the 18 over 1 and we're multiplying fractions multiplying fractions is no problem top times top and bottom times bottom we get 18 pi over 5 L equals R theta we're given the arc length so we're given the L which is pi we're given the 9 the radius which is 9 and we're looking for what is the measure of the angle so we're going to divide by 9 and we're going to divide by 9 those nines cancel out so we're left with pi over 9 as the answer L equals R theta we're looking for the L this time they give us the radius of 14 and the angle of 14 or of pi and there's nothing to do because L is already by itself so your answer is 14 pi L equals pi. I don't know why I keep doing that L equals R theta we're looking for L our R is 17 our theta is 11 pi over 20 
So our answer is going to be whatever 17 times 11 is. One eighty seven pi over twenty. And that does not reduce. If it does reduce, then you do you need to reduce it. Okay. L equals R theta. Our L is eleven pi over two. That's a pi. That's ugly. I might have to fix it. Eleven pi over 2. Our r is 3. We're looking for the angle. Now how would we solve this for theta? We would divide by 3. If we divide by 3 and on this side we already have a fraction, then all you're going to do is multiply the bottom by 3, which is dividing the fraction by 3. So those will cancel out. Nothing happens on top, which is 11 pi, and 3 times 2 is 6. And then word problem. The radius of a circle is 13. What is the length of the arc? So we're looking for L. That subtends, which just means makes an angle of an angle of 12 pi over 13 radi uh, radians. <coughs> okay, so L equals R theta. 12 pi over 13 equals 13 pi. We divide by, that is so not right. Y'all are saying, Miss Sanders, what's going on? We're looking for L. We have 13 for R. That's why. Good grief. And then we have 12 pi over 13. If we put this over 1 and we multiply straight across, we would get something, but we don't really have to because if 13's on top and 13's on bottom, they cancel out. So we're just left with 12 pi over 1. Anything over 1 goes <coughs> to whatever's on top. So in review, if you have a unit circle, your radius is 1. And if your radius is 1, the arc length is the same as the angle. But if, we're, if your radius is not 1, we're going to use the formula arc length equals radius times theta.